Hey there everybody, it's Dana with Nelly DC Crochet. It's been a while since I've made a video. I don't know, I guess life gets in the way. I have a lot of piano students. And anyway, I wanted to share with you my top favorite blankets, crocheted blankets that I've made over the last couple of years. And so here we go. All right. Let's see if I can do this here. So this one I love. Point it down a little. This is, I've got my notes here. This one is the Lydia blanket made with the Secret Garden yarn, Shapeus, I don't know how to say it, I mean English, but it's from the Netherlands, Shapeus secret garden and it is not a cheap yarn it, it has some silk in it so you have to be careful what you make um, but it is so beautiful the yarn has different colors all throughout like here is purple right in the middle and this bright pink there's all different colors as you can see but this is and it's fairly heavy so let me hold it up for you I love it. It's called the Lydia Blanket and by Deidre, I don't know how to say her last name, of Look at What I Made website. And so this is almost a continuous, each flower is like a, a continuous pattern. You don't um, have to weave in much. And that's one thing I really like about this. It's a very pleasant pattern to make. And this yarn is just so lovely and wonderful to work with. So this one is one of my favorites. And I have it sitting at my front door um, welcoming my piano students. Anyway, and so number two, that is one of my favorites. This was a crochet along. It's called the Hooked and Locked Crochet Along. And I love this because this is interlocking crochet. And I had never done interlocking crochet before. And see the beautiful patterns, the butterfly, diamonds, sunshine, hearts, and See the pat and then on the back, what I love about interlocking is that it's the reverse colors on the back. And this was such a fun pattern. It's it's pretty thick and heavy, but it's very, very comfortable. This was done by well, there's a Facebook page called the Hooked and Locked Crochet Along by the Craft Teacher. So she gives some very good instructions on how to do this interlocking crochet if you've never done it before. And I had never done it, so I needed all the help I could get. I used loops and thread yarn that I got at Michael's. And then my third favorite I just absolutely love. The stained glass wonder blanket by, um, well, Tatiana from Lilla Bjorn website. I love this. This was just so lovely to me. I think this is called Mosaic, Mosaic um, Crochet. And I used, isn't this beautiful? I just love this. What I used to make this is another Shapeus whirl. This is a whirl yarn and see all these colors that just come through. This is not, obviously, this is not the color, the skein that I had. I think the one I used is called Jumpin' Jelly Bean or something like that. Anyway, it's all cotton and it's very fine yarn. So I wasn't that excited about using it at first, but 
as I got into the project, I really loved it, and I love cotton. So if I'm going to put something next to my skin, and especially if I'm going to wear it, it's going to be cotton. And this is a really nice yarn to work with. So those are my top three that I've made over the last couple of years. I've made several other projects, but these are my favorites. And something that's coming up, it's already started. It's a crochet along. These are the colors I have chosen. It's Katana by Shapius, my favorite brand. It's 100% uh, what's it called? Mercer. Ugh. Mercerized, that's right. Mercerized cotton. And this is going to be a music crochet along that I'm so excited about. Let's see, I've got a picture on my phone I'm going to try to show you. And I'll, send, I'll put links in the description. This is a crochet along that's actually already started, but I had to I uh, wanted to finish another project that I'll show you in a minute, or not in a minute, on the next video. So those have been my top favorite either crochet alongs or blankets of the last couple of years that I have been meaning to share. So what I would love for you to do is subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and please comment below and tell me what it has been your favorite. Or feel free to ask me any questions, and I'll try to put links in the description of where you can find these patterns. So, I am Dana from Nelly DC Crochet, and I would love it if you would subscribe and share my video, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.